great land for a great people. This is our land. We are this nation. This is our country. The richest country in the world. A fertile earth and forests, power and great industry. We live here. There are mean things happening in this land. There are mean things happening in this land. There are mean things happening. There are mean things happening. Mean things happening in this land. The Ozarks lie in the belly of America. Midway between the oceans, 600 miles north of the Gulf of Mexico. And in these mountains live American men, American women, Americans for a hundred years. From the Ozarks come the greater number of the mine workers who live now in a strange country. The plains of Kansas, the hills of Missouri, and the Oklahoma Dust Bowl make the tri-state mines. The tri-state mines are lead and zinc. 10% of the lead for America and 38% of the zinc. Metals important to the industry of our country. Lead for pewter and zinc for brass. Lead for type and zinc for paint. Lead for solder and zinc for batteries. Lead for cables and zinc to galvanize. Zinc for medicine and lead for toys. Twenty million dollar business every year. Scores of mine shafts as far as you can see. Big mines, little mines, independent operators. Oversized companies with miles of leased railroads, interstate commerce and rich raw products, independent mills being driven to the backwash, train loads of zinc for the central mill at Carden, lead ore going to the smelter works at Joplin, lead ore going to the smelter in Galena. Smelter in Galena is the biggest in the district, the biggest in the district, the biggest in the district. Tons of zinc ore coming out hourly, tons of tailings building up mountains, clouds of dust to cover up the little town, cave-ins over at Baxter Springs, danger of lead poison, danger from dust, men drop down the shaft, down the shaft, down the shaft, lead for pipes and bullets and gases, zinc for medicines and batteries and paint. Thousands of tons of rock ore daily. It's a million dollar business. A million dollar business. Million dollar, million dollar, million, million, million. And the people here. These people. Their towns laid out in the shadow of the chat piles. Chat piles are tailing piles. Tailing piles are crushed rock. This rock is waste rock rock from which the ore has been extracted. Live towns, dead towns, towns without a movie, towns like Cardin and Hockerville and Trees, towns like Pitcher and Galena and Prosperity. Unpaved streets and streets made of tailings churches at the end of a mud-filled street.
Their homes are scattered in a wide, dead country. Here are their houses. These are their homes. Families living in one or two rooms, walls patched up and windows stuffed, earth banked up to keep the house warm, walls braced up to keep the wind soft. And there is no water. The water comes in a tank truck from Pitcher. 20 cents a barrel for the water from Pitcher. The water is pure, and yet every year there is typhoid, and the schools shut down. There is nothing dramatic about sickness in the tri-state. Only somehow, somebody always has something. Mother has a fever. Jean has tonsillitis. Mary keeps her cold. Father has a B card, a C card, a D card. Father got an F card. Father has the roop. A silicosis F card. They won't let him work. He might die on the premises. All he needs is to quit the mines forever, to escape forever the knife-sharp flint dust. All he needs is years of rest, years of sunshine and milk and rest. Well, he's quit the mines forever. He will die when the sap flows. He will be dead in the spring. The union says, the International Union of Mine, Mill and Smelter Workers, the union says, we know these conditions. Let us fight for health. There is death in the mines for our friends and our enemies. There is no distinction between our lungs. This is our problem, to make the work safe, to make mining fit work for human beings. Let's all get together. Let's all get together. Even their dances are public to everyone. Turn your partners, do si do. I wander today to the hills, Maggie, to watch the scene below. The trees and the old rusty mill. This is station WMB Hui. In the Joplin, when the gong rings, at the crossroads of America, the richest country in the world. This is the less taxes, the more jobs. What helps business helps you. We now bring you a report on the conditions in the metal market. Your announcer, Mr. <coughs> Paul Hui. For the ninth consecutive week, blend sold at $44 a ton for both mill and salt grades with a volume of trading considerably less. The man was fairly good in the direction of buying, but there was a lull in other quarters of the market due to the fact that these smelters were not as as usual. Smelters reported for London bids, lead spot, 14 pounds, 5 shillings. London bids, lead spot, future, 14 pounds, 8 shillings and threepence. Zinc spot, 13 pounds, 11 shillings and 9 pence. London bids, lead spot. Future, 13 pounds, 16 shillings and threepence. Dollar, 4.69 and a quarter. New York. London bids. New York, copper steady. London. A letterlytic spot, 11.25. London. New York. Export 10, 12 and a half. New York. Copper steady. Lead steady. London bids. Spot New York. London bids. 4.75 at 4.80. London bids. 4.85 at 4.90. Next. 495 at 5. Copper steady. East St. Louis. Copper steady. Copper steady. Copper steady. Copper steady. Copper steady. It is Monday morning, 7 o'clock. Elmer Carrington is going to work. Elmer and the men go down. Down in the earth, 200 feet. At the bottom of the shaft, they enter the tunnel. In the larger mines, the men wear electric lamps, 
and are aided by more mechanical equipment. This is a small mine, but the method of mining is just the same. The shovelers load the rock, blasted the night before. They get 13 to 14 cents for a 1,650 pound can. Working in silica dust, the years of their lives are numbered. They push the cans to the shaft. The hooker loads the cans. The cans go to the shaft tower. The rock is screened, piled ready for the mills and for the smelters. The empty can goes down again. Blackie, the hoisterman, starts the compressor. There is little ventilation outside the main tunnels. The new pockets are dead air. Wet drilling is in current use now, but there is insufficient wetting down of the mine walls and of the rock itself to prevent the spread of silica dust. The holes drilled in the new stopes are packed with dynamite. The fuses cut different lengths to fire the charges. All right, Howard, give it to her. Come on, boys, on the lamb. Get away from that wall. Get away from that rock. Get away from that rock. Get away from that dust! Get away from that dust! And come back for more. Get away from that dust! Get away from that house! Get away from that school. Get away, you kids. Get away from that dust. Get away from that dust. Dust in the ground, dust in the mills, dust in the towns and on the windowsills. Breathing silica dust causes silicosis, which is scar tissue in the lungs. Silicosis can be prevented by general ventilation and local suction exhaust of this type. But silicosis never can be cured. It invites tuberculosis, and when death comes, TB will be the cause of it. You can fight TB, which is based on silicosis. You can fight for your life in a two-room shack with dust and silica blowing in the window. The people live in the shadow of the chat piles. Chat piles are tailing piles. Tailing piles are crushed rock rock from which the ore has been extracted. Rock, to gravel, to sand, to dust. And the dust blows over the towns and the streets, the streets and the houses, the houses and the people, the schools and the children. They live in this shadow. Some improvement has been started, but it is not enough. The answer to our problem is a four-point program. Four things must be done to straighten out these conditions. A federal workman's compensation law covering industrial disease for industries engaged in interstate commerce. Federal legislation prescribing minimum standards of working conditions. A law with teeth in it. A cheap housing development away from the chat piles. A regional sanitarium like the state hospitals to provide much needed care for the tuberculars in the tri-state. Silicosis, tuberculosis, malnutrition, general diseases. In the meantime, they sicken. In the meantime, they die. Charlie and Roy and Norman and Mac 
and Wilbur and Alice, Chester and Tom, Betty and Ann and Dewey. Somehow, somebody always gets something. Give us health, give us work, give us life. Give us health. Give us work. 